Hey everyone, this is Woodsaw here, so I'm gonna show you Insane Dungeon 7, stages 3 to stage 7. So I'm gonna show you my setup that I used for stage 3. Each stage I will show you which setup I, I used, so there are of course different options, but these are the ones I used. So in the first one I used the Ghulam, like in some other ones I used Anubis, so it really depends. So. In this video, in the first part, I will actually show you how I did the spawn spots and what I actually thought what was best. A good friend of me helped me. I'm going to post his link in the comments below. He really helped me a lot. So this is stage 3. So as you can see, it has a lot of stun towers. In between all the stun towers, there are totems, as you can see. An Anubis and a Pumpkin Duke. So the problem is you have to really be careful that the Pumpkin Duke stack runs out before you use your troops and heroes. So what I did here is I froze this area and I used my magic on this spot to pull Michael and just really get the 50%. So and here is how I actually did it. So this is gonna be number three. As I said, I was doing this, I was unlocking the totems. Using my eyes and then just using my heroes. And you have to use troops of course, because there are little nicks inside. You can use more troops if you want. I think it was doable with this. So we got to 181% really fast. As you can see, there's Ronin inside, so you have to be careful that you freeze the Ronins also. Otherwise, they are just going to wreck your team. So watch out for those Ronins. So this is going to be stage 4. going to show you how I actually did it. I did the same setup as stage 3. So let's show you how I did it. Should take a second here. Okay, so this is going to be stage 4. As you can see, it's really crowded in the middle. It's really crazy. So many mobs. So what I did was, I attacked from the top side. You have to pull the heroes of the enemy all the way to the top. So first you have to do your magic. Then you have to pull them to your magic. And then you have to freeze. Otherwise... The, the mobs are just gonna surround you and you're gonna die really fast. So I'm gonna show you how I actually did it. So you're gonna see how it worked. This is not an easy stage, I think. So here we go. On the top side. As you can see, dropping my magic on the top. Then I was using my tank first. And just have to wait for the perfect timing. To freeze everything together that you don't have too many mobs on the side as you can see attacking your army so this is how i got my stage four so it's gonna take you some time i think because it's pretty tough just stacking all the mobs in the middle so here we, so this was stage four up to stage five so for stage five i used anubis so I'm going to show you the hero that I used for this. Basically it's all the same. Just I used Anubis for Ghulam. Because it has troops. So we need something to kill the troops. I heard some people use Triton. So Triton is also an option. So this will be stage 5. So I'm going to show you stage 5. So this is stage 5. As you can see on the top and the bottom you have tons of troops. You have a lot of arrow towers and stun towers with the mobs being in between. So the main goal is pulling the Michael and then freezing the area a little bit behind him. So you have time to stack up. So here we go. So this is how, how I use my magic. And then I froze about this area. You could freeze a little bit more on the top. So you have more mobs. But you're going to see in a second how I actually did it. I hope this is useful for you guys. I have no idea, but this is how I did it. So, okay, so now let's see. Here we go. 
So I was dropping my Anubis first, mainly as a tank, and we want to kill the troops as fast as possible. Then I used my freeze. As you can see, most of the mobs are frozen before they can really reach you, and we got to 83% really fast. So now it's just a matter of trying to clean up everything, but we don't need to tree flame, so 85% is perfect for me. So this was stage 5. I think stage 5 went really smooth. Just if you can pull the Michael, it gets a lot easier. So this is gonna be stage 6. Stage 6, I use the same setup with Anubis, because it also has troops. So you need something to kill the troops, otherwise if you have a chief, your chief is just gonna kill all the troops, and that's not really what you want. So right here, it was basically the same as a few levels ago, stages ago. So you have a Michael here, you want to tank the Michael, because you can stack on him. So same story here, dropping the magic, pulling the Michael, and freezing the area behind him. Trying to freeze as many towers as possible. So that's how I did it. There's probably some other ways also, but I found this really effective. So now let's do the stage. Okay, so here we go. Dropping Anubis first once again, using the magic on the bottom. Pulling, as you can see, Michael is engaging right now, and then you have to freeze. It's really close, you don't have too much time. Also make sure in all the stages that you have troops just spawn your troops as fast as possible because they are taking damage from I guess from Anubis and other heroes like Little Nick so you really have to be careful that they don't proc on your heroes you can easily die with those procs so this was stage 6 so now it's gonna be time for stage 7 here we go not this one, Insane Dungeon 1 will be a bit too easy <laughs> So let's go. So here you have like everything is closed. So I've been told to attack from the left side. Make sure you activate the totem with the Ares. You don't really want to fight against an Ares. So I was dropping my magic on the top. Just freezing as much as possible. And just use all your troops and heroes in the same spot. And this should work. I found this one of the easier stages. So let's see how it actually went. Some stages took me quite a while, but. So let's go. Breaking from the left side, activating the totem. Because he's gonna wreck our team. Okay, now let's go. Freezing. And let's see how we are going to do it. Do we have 5%, 9%, 11%? It's going pretty nice. Just keep spawning your troops like crazy. So we are close to making it. As you can see, most of the heroes died. So. In this one, we actually almost made it. Just wanted to show you a fail. So it was really, really close. Pretty sure, like Anubis is not really the best option for this stage because it doesn't really have any troops. So you can use a Santa, I guess, or some other heroes, like Michael maybe to tank. But I did it with these heroes, so some stages have different options and troops and heroes. So this is how I won the stage. So let's show you. Of course, I popped the totem up once again. Now. Popping Anubis and just spawning all the troops all over the place. Wish you could drop it like with one click all together. So I really hope this was helpful to you guys. And I will see you in stage 10. And I hope we can clear it. Pretty sure it's gonna take a while. So this is how I got my 50%. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And... Talk to you later. Bye everyone.